Quite often, you will find yourself wanting to listen to music. Whether you're in your room or you're working, you might find yourself reaching for some earbuds. While they certainly work great, they also come with a fair share of problems. My cheap pair of earbuds lost their protection and they really don't sound that great. They also very easily get tangled. You might also prefer speakers because they can be more comfortable, louder, and have better sound quality, but they are not nearly as portable as earbuds. But what if I told you that you don't have to choose a side and you can get the benefits of both? By simply attaching a pair of speakers to a hat, you can bring your music with you. There already exist hats like this online, but I thought that this was a perfect opportunity to put this hat and these tiny speakers to work. So, without any more waiting, let's get started. Before we get to the hat, let's work out how we will actually play music. While we could simply just connect an audio jack to a speaker and play music directly, it's not that loud at all and is quite frankly very hard to hear. In other words, this level of volume is only suited for earbuds. As we can see, the peak to peak voltage is only a few millivolts. So to solve this problem, we will need an amplifier to make music audible to be heard not only by the one wearing it, but also the people nearby. While I do have several options for creating said amplifier, the best option it seems is the extremely well known and widely used LM386. This IC is a low power audio amplifier meant for battery powered applications. The reason why this IC is ideal for a project like this is because of its low power, meaning that it is perfect for these small speakers and the battery that we will use. It also has a very small external part count, which is great because we are limited on space in the hat. Finally, it has a wide operating voltage, so we can use a wide variety of options to power it as necessary. Before making the circuit on the breadboard, I had to select how I would power this amplifier. There are several ways to do this ranging from my LiPo battery all the way to a really long DC power jack. Ultimately, I settled on using this 9 volt battery because of its reasonable size and the fact that it is already of a considerable voltage. Why not use a LiPo? Well that's because I would have to design an entire circuit around the battery to boost its voltage and also protect it from over discharge, making the whole thing a lot more complicated than it needs to be. And so, we are finally able to prototype the circuit on our breadboard. So I pulled it out and began putting it together. Luckily, the datasheet has several examples that we can examine and modify. Starting with the basic circuit, we can hear that the IDO coming out is certainly louder, but the quality really is not that great. The first thing to add would be the bypass capacitor on pin 7 and it really helps with the audio quality. Also, do not forget to add a decoupling capacitor between ground and the voltage source, or else it will sound like complete garbage. I also left the gain at the default 20 to reduce the part count and avoiding the distortion that comes with the higher levels of gain. After playing a song, we can hear that it sounds all right, but there's still one more improvement that we can make. Since these tiny speakers are not very great at playing the lower frequencies, we can look at the bass boost example in the datasheet. This will make sure that we don't lose so much in terms of bass while maintaining a good enough audio quality. This part is optional, however, if you find that your speakers sound are right or even better without this feature. And running another test, we can certainly hear the difference with the bass boost feature enabled. And as always, the schematic will be in the description in case you're confused as to how I put the circuit together. And so, feeling satisfied with the circuit design, we can make it permanent. But first, I have to select a hat to use. After looking at a few of my hats, I found one that I'm okay with sacrificing. The others were just too cool to use for this project. So, after selecting an appropriately sized perf board, I began soldering the components together, and after I was finished, I connected it together to test it and it sounds alright, even better than it did on the breadboard. But I also had to make another one just like it because of the stereo configuration. Now with the soldering on the boards out of the way, we can place the speakers, the boards, the audio jack, and the battery on the hat. I found that placing the boards on the top of the hat gave it an interesting aesthetic, and the audio jack on the back was the best spot for the audio cable to reach down to the phone or the MP player in someone's pocket. The speakers went at the cap, because it is convenient and easy to hear from that spot. And so, 
I desoldered the wires on the speakers and put on longer wires to reach the boards. I then hot glued the speakers and the boards into their places. I also added a switch in between the battery and the boards so that we could, the hat can be turned off. After gluing the battery in the audio jack, we can test it once again and make sure that it works. And it does! Now I can play music wherever I want and wherever I go. Well, anyways, thanks for watching, and I wish you good luck on making your own hat. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe so that you can see my other videos. And have a good one!